morning. It's a bit of a crappy day, but zero complaints. And it's day 11 and I'm trying to hike out. But I got away late, 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 late. Oh, hung out with five wonderful nurses, nurse ladies who allowed me to stay in their extra spot at Robson Pass. And that was cool. But this morning I took my sweet time getting up and getting out of here, hanging out with them. So now I got like 23, 22 kilometers to go and limited time, but I got motivation and I can hike all the way till sunset. So no problem. That's the huge uh, avalanche that happened last year, a rock slide. And we saw it move. We saw a bunch of rocks move in a puff of dust last night. It was crazy. Like, how could it still be it's amazing that it's still doing its thing after 14 months? Anyway, sadly that I shut down some of the uh, some of the day hikes out of Berg Lake, but oh uh, well. Wow, even though the clouds are obscuring the top of the mountain, this is still always just a stunning way to end something, right? It is so amazing up here. Spent a few days hiking by this guy, but I still haven't seen a berg actually break off into the lake. A little bit sad. Oh well. Emperor Falls Campground. I've got about eight hours to finish everything, so I think I'll be fine. About 16 kilometers from here, so no worries. Just a lot of tricky downhill after this part. The wind is going the wrong direction here. You can't get very close without getting misted. I'm getting misted right now. You see how wet it is. Still pretty outstanding stuff. Wow. It's been threatening rain, but I haven't been rained on much. It's an awesome trail. Got my feet and knees in the water, having some lunch, so I can keep on going. Today too. And I'm just banging off kilometers, so so beautiful in here. Big nice new bridge here. Cool. Woo! The other bridge is still here. Huh. Made out of metal, this'll this will stand a while. Oh yeah. Kinney Lake one more time. Probably not the last. When 
one of the final hurdles. Walk along Robson River. I am so done. I just don't believe this is happening right now. This can't be the end when I have somewhere else to walk. North Boundary Trail. Holy Mother of God. My car is here. It's unmolested. Four good tires after 11 days. It's a relief. Okay, it took about eight hours, 23 kilometers. Oh my God. How do I even, North Boundary Trail, um, this is my backpack dream, so I'm gonna have to come up with a new one, for sure. Uh, <laughs> how do you sum up? I got bluff charged by a bear on day four, I fell twice, you know, I almost, turns out, you know, I have a scratch here, but I have actually a scratch up by my eye. I almost got in my eye with that damn fall. I, uh, I managed to put on the afterburners for the last two days and cover 45 kilometers. 11 days. Oh, my brains are just mashed potatoes. My day's not over. I still got to drive back to Edmonton. I have a, a shirt on that's a lot fresher than anything I've worn in the last six, six, seven days. I've got my shoes off, my Crocs on. I think I'm gonna stop at Jasper Lake and just take a quick soak with the feet. That'll save me a lot of suffering the next two or three days. And I'm gonna stop by McDonald's and order enough food for two people. And then when I get back to Edmonton, I'm gonna take a shower long enough to shower three people. I get out there and hike. That's all. I, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I still have to drive back to Edmonton though. <laughs>